So the iPhone 11 Pro and the iPhone 11 Pro Max are the next generation of last year's 10s and 10s Max. There's two different sizes. There's the 5.8 inch 11 Pro and then the 6.5 inch 11 Pro Max. And you'll notice that both those are smaller and larger than the 6.1 inch uh, iPhone 11. So if you want kind of a smaller or larger um, smartphone, you're gonna have to go Pro. And if you watched uh, Apple's keynote, Apple kind of different presenters said numerous times that this smartphone was the high-end option for people who either wanted to shoot better photos and videos or they wanted just the nicest iPhone you can buy. And that's essentially what the Pro, the 11 Pro and the Pro 11 Pro Max are. So the first thing you'll obviously notice that's the telltale sign that this is a Pro is the, is the three camera system. The Pro actually has the same two lenses as the iPhone 11. It's got the 12 megapixel uh, ultra wide and 12 megapixel wide angle lens, um, but it also has a 12 megapixel telephoto lens and they can shoot uh, uh, 4K video at 60 frames per second using that lens too. Um, the iPhone 11 Pro can't because it doesn't have that lens. Both uh, smartphones have the same exact uh, uh, selfie camera system, uh, 12 megapixel true depth camera sensor, so they all have uh, face ID and they can shoot portrait mode photos using selfie portrait modes. Um, they also, which is kind of a new, f a new feature on the new iPhones, is that they have a super slow mo selfie mode that, you know, I think everyone got a little kick out of uh, Apple's keynote when they said uh, slow fees. Um, it works, I'm not sure how many people are gonna use slow motion selfies, but uh, it's an interesting feature. And then I think, the big other reason to upgrade to the, any of the pros is the display. Um, it's an OLED display rather than the uh, LCD uh, display on the iPhone 11. And what that means is it's just gonna be brighter, it's gonna have a bit better contrast ratio. Um, this actually has, uh, Apple named it, the Super Retina XDR display, um, which they claim is even brighter, has even more contrast ratio than last year's um, um, iPhone XS and XS Max. Um, so you're getting a pristine picture, just overall better looking display is a kind of a big reason to upgrade. So the iPhone 11 Pro, the Pro Max, and the iPhone 11 all have the same uh, new A13 Bionic uh, processing chip. Um, and what that helps all these new smartphones do is be very efficient and extend the battery life of their, uh, these smartphones. I think that's the, the third biggest feature of the new Pros is, especially compared to last year's 10s and 10x Max, um, the battery life is substantially better. Apple claims that with the Pro, the regular Pro model, it's four hours better than the 10s, and with the higher end uh, Pro Max, it's five hours actually better than the 10s Max. So the big jump in battery life um, has a lot to do with the A13 Bionic uh, processing chip in all these new iPhones, but it's not just that. It also has to do with there actually being a little bit bigger batteries in these smartphones. Um, each of these smartphones is a little bit heavier, a little bit thicker, ever so slightly than last year's models. And so, and since Johnny Ive is leaving at the end of this year, um, and his big emphasis was the thinner the better, um, it's actually kind of like Apple is entering a brand new era. So the iPhone 11 Pro and the iPhone 11 Pro Max are, well, it's interesting because even at Apple's keynote, um, they said over and over again that these were for two types of people. One, the person who's gonna, who just wants the new hotness, who just wants the new best iPhone, and these are just that. Or they're for someone who's gonna use these smartphones professionally. They're gonna shoot video, they're gonna take photos, they're gonna edit photos, um, and they're just gonna use them to their fullest and be able to appreciate them on their new OLED display. So the iPhone 11 Pro starts off at $999, while the iPhone 11 Pro Max starts off at $1099. Both are available for pre-order right now, and both will be in stores everywhere September 20th. Um, if you're thinking about, if you need an extra incentive, um, obviously like the iPhone 11, with your purchase, you get a free one-year subscription to Apple TV Plus.